Press tab to go to edit mode. Turn on X-ray. Numpad Dell. Scroll out. Place your cursor in the middle of this edge and press Ctrl R. Left mouse button, right mouse button. Then place your cursor in the middle of this edge and press Ctrl R. Left mouse button, right mouse button. Click on an empty space to remove the selection. Press W to change the selection method. And select these vertices. Then hold down Shift and select these vertices. Press G, Z and move it along that axis. Left mouse button. Press 3 to go to edit face. Select this face. Hold down Shift and select these are. Press X, faces. Press 2 to go to edit edge. Hold down Alt and click in the middle of this edge. Hold down Alt Shift and click in this place. Press E, right mouse button. Press S and make it a little bigger. Left mouse button. Again, press E, right mouse button. Press S, X. And make it bigger along X axis. Now hold down Alt Shift and select these edges. And then this. Press S, X. Left mouse button. Press numpad 1 to change viewing angle. Double A to deselect all selections. Press W to change selection method. Hold down left mouse button, select these edges. Press G, Z. Press G, X. Left mouse button. Hold down left mouse button and select these edges. Press G, X. OK. Shift A, cube. Press 3 to go to edit face. Select this face, press S and make it smaller. Place your cursor over this part and press L. Then press S left mouse button. Now select this face, press X, face. Again place your cursor over this part and press L. Press G and move it. Left mouse button. Now we are going place this so that the bottom edges of the selected piece are parallel to the top edges of the shoulder armor. Press R, rotate it, Ready. Press G and move it. Something like that. Now press Ctrl Num Part 3 to change viewing angle. Press R, left mouse button, and something like that. Shift D to duplicate the object. Change pivot point to 3D cursor. Press S, Y, minus 1. Enter. Shift N. Change pivot point again. Median point. Hold down middle mouse button to change viewing angle. Ok, nice. Now press 2 to go to edit edge. Select this edge and these are. Press G, Y. Left mouse button. Let's correct it a little. Press G. Y. Press Ctrl Num Part 3. Hold down left mouse button and select these vertices. Press X vertices. Now open modifier properties, add modifier, mirror. And select Y. And uncheck X. Hold down middle mouse button. Press Num Part 1 to change viewing angle. Press 1 to go to edit vertex. Select this point, press G, something like that. 
Now hold down left mouse button and select this point. Press G, left mouse button. Press 2 to go to edit edge, select this edge and this. Press F. Select this, then this, press F. And again, hold down shift, select this, press F. This edge, hold down shift, this, press F. Double A to the select all selection, hold down left mouse button, select these edges, press G, X. And move it. Tap A and press R. Something like that. Press G and move it. OK. Press numpad del to focus to the object. Hold down middle mouse button, double it to select all selections, hold down alt and click in the middle of this edge. Then hold down alt shift and click in this place. Then this and this. Press ctrl E, mark seam. Press free to go to edit face. Now go to material properties and create two new slots. Select second slot, click new. Third slot, new. Now select first material, change color, increase this value, select second material, change color, Increase metallic and turn off speckler. Place your cursor over this part and press L. Then click Assign. Double A to select all selection. Place your cursor over this part and press L. Select third material. Change color. Increase metallic. And specular to click assign. Now press two to go to edit edge. Hold down Alt Shift and select these edges. Then this and this. This. Okay, enough. Now press Shift E and move the cursor away from the middle of the object to sharpen these corners. Press Tab to go to Object Mode, Modifier Properties, Hide Modifier, Subdivision Surface. Oh, we forgot something. Press Tab to go to Edit Mode, hold down left mouse button and select these edges. Then hold down Shift and select these edges too. Press Shift E. OK. Press tab to go to object mode, increase this value, right mouse button, shade smooth, increase again, and change viewport shading. Scroll out, now press apply mirror, add modifier, select mirror, ready. Press numpad del to focus to the object. Select light, press G, Y. Nice.